good i'm your host jason in this video i will be showing you how to design newsletter in clavio the first thing you want to do once on clavio.com from there you're going to create your account by tapping on sign up if you already have an account you're going to tap on login and by the way clavio is one of the most popular email marketing platforms around and you can also use it for sms marketing also if you would like to use it on your Shopify store or any other form of e-commerce platform or website, you can do that quite easily as it is beginner friendly. Once you have created your Clavio account, you will be redirected to this page. Once on this page, since we want to create a newsletter, we are going to select campaigns in the top left hand corner. But you can see there are numerous features that you can access on Clavio. You can set up different workflows or automations. You can also use their review option and you can also create sign up forms and so much more. But for newsletter, you would tap on campaigns. Then you're going to tap on create campaign. After selecting create campaign, you can add your campaign name from the pop up option on the right hand corner right here. You can also select the date as you can see there. And from here, we can select the type. So we're going to select email. But as I said earlier, you can see that you're also provided with the option to use SMS. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save and continue. After tapping on save and continue, all you'll need to do now, if it is a case that you already have some recipients that you had imported, you can simply go here. And from there, you could add your email list or your SMS list if you want. So we're going to select one of these options. So let's say, for example, we were to select email list. You can also select any other segment that you may have created in the past. For example, new subscribers. Then we'll tap on continue to content. After tapping on continue to content, all you'll need to do now from here, you could add in your subject name. After adding in your subject name, you could type in a preview text right here. Once you have done that, you will see the option now to edit your email. So all you need to do is tap here on this section. Then after you have done that from there, you can see different templates that you can choose from. So you can select any one of the template layouts. So you could select deals and you can see the different templates that you can choose from right there. All you need to do is scroll down until you see a template of your liking. You can select a template, but you can see that there are numerous options. So let's say, for example, we would like to use, let's say, this template. All you need to do is tap on it and you can see the desktop view. You can also tap on mobile and you can see how it would look. Once it is to your liking, you're going to tap on use template. After selecting use template, you'll be redirected to the editor page. Once on the editor page, you can start making changes. So for example, let's say we'd like to change the image. You can tap on the image. Then you'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on replace, and you'll be able to upload an image. You can also add alt text real quick right there. And you can also scroll down. And if you would like to make the image clickable, you could put in the link that you would like to redirect persons to right there. After doing that, if there are any other changes, for example, the logo, you can tap on the logo section and you could change the logo right there. And you can scroll down and you can make changes to the text section. By tapping on the text, you could go over to the left hand menu option and make changes. You can also change the button. And I do recommend that you also add a URL right here so that when someone clicks on the button, they'll be redirected to your offer. You can change the button color as you can see right there. And it is as simple as that to edit each option. So even if you'd like to add your social media links, you can tap on the social media icons. Then you from there, you could paste in your social media links and you can also add other icons by tapping on add icons right there. Now, once everything is finished and to your liking, you could tap on preview and test in the top right hand corner. After tapping on preview and test, you could tap on send test. Then you could paste in the email address that you would like to send the test newsletter to. Then tap on done. And that's it. 
Now, once you're finished doing all of this, you could tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes, as you can see right here. Now you can preview or review how it looks. Once you have reviewed how it looks and it is still liking, you'll tap on continue to review in the bottom right hand corner. After tapping on continue to review, from here again, you can add the recipients right here. Then after doing that, if you would like to schedule when it is sent, you could tap on edit where you see smart sending and you could edit it right there. Then you'll tap on schedule or send in the bottom right hand corner. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.